so. Some exceptional football teams with incredible European pedigree, it has to be said. Among them, the holders, Real Madrid, the 2023 winners, Manchester City, and Serie A champions, and 2010 Champions League winners, of course, Internazionale. All right, we're practically ready to go. Just a reminder that uh, this year the draw is a little bit different, of course, because of the new format. We'll have Gigi pulling out the balls from pot one, uh, and then the following ones, and Cristiano will be pressing the button with the beautiful Champions League uh, logo on there. That will prompt the computer to allocate opponents automatically. So, gentlemen, Giorgio, historic moment. Over to you. Historic moment, Pedro, you're right, uh, the heartbeat is on the rise for everyone, for the fans especially, and uh, the new Champions League is in the safe hands of uh, mythic Gigi Buffon. Start with the first team ever drawn in the new UEFA Champions League. The first team is Manchester City. Wow, we start with uh, Manchester City. Champions for the fourth consecutive time in England. It never happened before them. And uh, so it's a big start. Uh, we're ready. Now what we need to do is to allocate the first opponents to Manchester City. <laughs> Push on the start ball. And we go. Okay. Historic moment indeed. This is who Manchester City will be playing in the league phase of the Champions League. From pot one, they have been allocated Inter at home and they will be playing Paris Saint-Germain away. From pot two, they have a home tie against Club Bruges and they are away against Juventus. Pot three, they're at home to Feyenoord and away to Sporting the Club de Portugal. And from pot four, they play Sparta Praha and they travel to newcomers Slovan Bratislava. Good, this is Manchester City's pathway throughout the first league phase. Gigi, let's go ahead. It's not just Manchester City, of course, plenty of uh, big names, uh, fantastic players, and we the continue. The second one, Internazionale. We continue now with the FC Internazionale Milano. They will restart from their 300 goals scored till the very last goal they scored last year in this competition. So, uh, for Internazionale, we know that uh, they will uh, play with Manchester City away, but who are the other seven? Cristiano, you will tell us. There it is. Cristiano has pressed the button and the computer has produced the fixtures. We already knew about Manchester City, so we've got Leipzig at home in pot two. It's Arsenal away and Bayer Le uh, Arsenal at home and Bayer Leverkusen away in pot three. They'll be hosting Servina Zvezda and traveling to Switzerland to play young boys. And in pot four, it's a home match against AS Monaco and an away tie with Sparta Praha. That is the journey for Internazionale Milano yes, in yes. this year's competition. Exciting journey. Gigi, let's go ahead. The third team drone. The third, Bayern München. Bayern, so Bayern Munich is the third team drawn. Also here, big name in European football, unbeaten in a record 40 matches in group stage of the Champions League. And they won all the 20 opening matches in the last 20 campaigns. Cristiano, let's go ahead. Eight opponents for Bayern. Yeah, the eight opponents for Bayern have emerged from pot one. They take on Paris Saint-Germain at home. They are away to Barcelona as well. From pot two, they have a home tie against Benfica and they travel to visit Shakhtar Donetsk. From pot three, they're up against GNK Dinamo at home and they travel to the Netherlands to take on Feyenoord. And from pot four, completing the journey for Bayern Munich then, they are at home to Slovan Bratislava and away in Birmingham to Aston Villa, although we have to stress at this stage, Giorgio, that this is not the order in which they will be playing. The calendar will be published on Saturday. Absolutely. See, we are drawing the pairings. The calendar will be compiled later. So after Bayern, we can proceed. Leipzig. Leipzig, so RB Leipzig, now a sixth successive participation in the competition for Leipzig, semi-final in 2020. Leipzig have been drawn away to Internazionale Milano. They will be drawn now seven more opponents. 
Here are the other opponents for Leipzig, starting with Liverpool from Pot 1. That's a home match in Pot 2. They'll be hosting Juventus and they'll be away at Atlético de Madrid. In Pot 3, it's Sporting Clube de Portugal at home and Celtic away. And in Pot 4, Leipzig will be playing Aston Villa at home in Germany and they'll be traveling to Austria. Short trip to play Sturmgrass. Yes, plenty of emotions for sure. Anki also here. Gigi, we are ready for uh, the next team. Borussia Dortmund. Borussia Dortmund, so again uh, in Germany. Borussia Dortmund, the finalists of uh, last season, a great season in the Champions League with four of the Dortmund players named in the UEFA Champions League team of the season. So for uh, Dortmund, what do we know? Nothing. They have not been drawn against any opponent, Cristiano. Thank you, Cristiano. So these are the opponents for Borussia Dortmund in the league phase from pot one. They will host Barcelona and they travel to Cristiano's old club, Real Madrid. From pot two, they're at home against Shakhtar Donetsk and travel to Club Bruges. From pot three, they will be hosting the Scottish champion Celtic and they're away in Zagreb to take on GNK Dinamo. And from pot four, completing the lineup for Borussia Dortmund, then Sturm Graz at home and Bologna, who returned to the competition after many, many years, they travel to them away. Yes, uh, Reshmin, you're right. Uh, so who comes after Borussia Dortmund? Gigi, you tell us. <laughs> <laughs> this is my new job, eh? Barcelona. So FC Barcelona now who have played the 349 UEFA Champions League or European Cup matches. They are third in this special ranking. Barcelona will play Bayern and Borussia Dortmund and other six teams. Thank you, Cristiano. It'll be Atalanta at home and Benfica away in pot two for Barca. Then in pot three, a home match with young boys from Switzerland, and they'll be traveling to Belgrade to take on Servana Svezda. And in pot four, it's Stade Brestois, the uh, uh, debutants from France, and they'll play here in the Principality of Monaco as well. That's the journey for Barcelona. Yes, and after Barcelona, of course, there are another three to complete uh Pot uh, one. Oops. Three different countries. Different countries. Real Madrid. So, Real Madrid, uh, the title holders. Uh, last season, Real Madrid uh, was unbeaten in 13 uh, Champions League matches. It was the first time they won a competition without losing a single match. Uh, so, for Real Madrid, uh, we have Borussia Dortmund and Cristiano, your former club, uh, receives seven. Yeah, big responsibility to select for your former club, Cristiano. And this is who you've come up with. They won't blame you for anything. Right, from part one, Real Madrid are at home against Borussia Dortmund, as we know. They will also travel to Anfield to take on Liverpool. From pot two, they will take on Milan. And uh, they're away against the Europa League holders, Atalanta. From pot three, they take on Salzburg and travel to Lille. And from pot four, completing the lineup for the current holders, it is a home tie against Stuttgart and an away tie against Stade Brestois. Happy with that, Cristiano? You think you've given them a decent path? Not bad so far. Not bad so far. It's okay. Right. We'll ask them later. <laughs> <laughs> Giorgio, yes. back to you. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Back to Gigi, actually, for uh, the next two draws. Uh, we start uh, now with... Um, <laughs> Liverpool. Liverpool FC, uh, the uh, English club uh, with the most titles in this competition. Six-time winners. Uh, Liverpool have been drawn uh, at home with Real Madrid and away to Leipzig. Which other six? Yes, we're completing the puzzle for Liverpool. It's Bayer Leverkusen at home and Milan away in pot two. They'll be hosting Lille and traveling to the Netherlands to take on PSV Eindhoven in pot three. And in pot four, it's uh, hosting Bologna. That's their responsibility and also traveling to Girona. So two clubs there that are back in the big time of the UEFA Champions League. Yes, only one. Name is uh, left in the pot. Uh, yes, uh, we know that, that they have been already drawn against two teams in pot one. Paris Saint-Germain. Paris Saint-Germain. 
They scored in the last 50 UEFA Champions League uh, group stage matches since November 2015. They will face Manchester City, Bayern Munich and other six clubs. Okay, this is the journey then for Gigi's former club, PSG. From pot two, they will be hosting Atletico de Madrid and they travel to the Emirates to take on Arsenal. From pot three, they're up against PSV Eindhoven at home and they're away in Austria to Salzburg. And from pot four, they will be hosting the uh, debutants in the Champions League, Gidona. And they are away in Germany against Stuttgart. How does that look, Gigi? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. <laughs> we will know. We'll find <laughs> out, right? Yeah. We'll find out. Once, once the matches start, we'll find out. He, he waits to see what happens to Juventus. For me, PSG <laughs> started always to win the, yeah. the Champions League because he's a, a best team and playing in a best city in, in Europe. This year is the year? You hope. <laughs> fantastic. Thank you, Gigi. The first teams then have been drawn and already some fantastic matchups to look forward to. We promised you big games at the beginning delivered. of this competition. We have delivered. We've got Barcelona playing Bayern Munich. We've got Real Madrid against Borussia Dortmund, a repeat of last season's final. And we have PSG against Manchester City as well. Not bad at all, Pedro. So, as we've just seen, some magnificent teams in pot two, including the Bundesliga champions Bayer Leverkusen, Arsenal and Atletico Madrid, among others. But who will they be facing in this season's UEFA Champions League, an historic season? Let's find out. Yes, the league phase is taking shape. Now even more. Gigi, you start pot two. Atletico de Madrid. Atletico Madrid, uh, thank you. Atletico de Madrid, uh, three-time finalists, and they won all the five home matches in the last season. They have received uh, from Pot 1, Leipzig and Paris Saint-Germain, Cristiano, six opponents. Yes, and the sixth opponents then for Atletico de Madrid. They will face a home tie against the German champions Bayer Leverkusen. They travel to take on Benfica from pot two. From pot three, they host Lille and they take on Salzburg in Austria. And from pot four, they will be hosting newcomers Slovan Bratislava and they travel to the Czech Republic to take on Sparta Praha. And just a reminder again, this is not the order in which it will happen, Giorgio, because the uh, calendar will be published on Saturday. I think they have understood. Do you think they know? <laughs> <laughs> I think they know by now. Yes, uh, Gigi, second team in part two. Atalanta. Atalanta, they won their first European title this year, with the Europa League, and uh, they have established themselves as a powerhouse now we can say in European football Atalanta have, will play Real Madrid and Barcelona and this six here it is the picture being complete now for Atalanta it'll be Arsenal and Shakhtar Donetsk in pot two in pot three hosting Celtic traveling to Switzerland to play young boys and in pot four it's a match at home in Bergamo against Sturm Graz and a trip to Germany to face Stuttgart Yes, this was uh, Atalanta. Gigi, we can uh, go on. Club Bruges. Bruges, the first and the only club from Belgium reaching the final of the competition. They did it in 1978. They will play Borussia Dortmund and Manchester City. And uh, what uh, we can say about uh, Liverpool, about uh, so Bruges, uh, is that uh, Cristiano now will draw six opponents from the other three pots. Okay. From the other pots, from pot two, they have a home tie against Gigi's former club and Cristiano's former club, Juventus. And they are at home to another Italian side in Milan. From pot three, they take on, sorry, they're away Way. at yeah. San Siro. Apologies. From pot three, they are at home to Sporting Club de Portugal, of course, where it all began for Cristiano. And they are at Celtic Park. What a game that will be for them. And from pot four, they host Aston Villa and they travel to Stormgrass. Yes, uh, that's done for Bruges. We're ready to see one more.
Bayer Leverkusen. Bayer Leverkusen, uh, the great season last year, 53 matches uh, on one single loss. Uh, the first team ever to complete the Bundesliga without one single defeat. Uh, so for Leverkusen, we need to add uh, five teams to Inter Liverpool Atletico. And those five teams are AC Milan at home for Bayer Leverkusen. And then it's Salzburg and Feyenoord in pot three. And in pot four, Sparta Praha and Stade Brestois. That's their path in the UEFA Champions League. Yes, that's it. Uh, also Bayer Leverkusen now know. They know what they have to expect in this league phase. Five to go for pot two. Arsenal. The Gunners uh, of London, Arsenal, they uh, will play against Paris Saint-Germain, against Inter and uh, against uh, Atalanta, which other five clubs? Yeah, the other five clubs then for Arsenal are Shakhtar Donetsk from pot two, from pot three. They host Dinamo and they travel to Sporting Club de Portugal and making up the journey for Arsenal fans then is AS Monaco and Hidona. Yes, another great lineup. We can proceed and see the next team drawn. Benfica. Benfica. So Benfica, they won twice the tournament and uh, they participated 44 times in this competition, the second uh, most overall. Their opponents known so far are Barcelona, Bayern and Atletico de Madrid. A handful of opponents left for Benfica. They've just found out they'll be playing Juventus away from pot two. And then it's Feyenoord at home, Servina Svezda away, Bologna at home, and Monaco right here in the Principality, Giorgio. Yes, closer now to uh, finishing this pot. Uh, we have only three. Asi Milan. Milan, uh, so Milan. Uh, Seven time winners of the competition, 32 times participating. Liverpool, Real Madrid, the Bruges, and Leverkusen have known opponents. And uh, yes, please, four coming from three and four. Cristiano's getting quicker with the button, aren't you? So let's get quick with the draw then <laughs> from part three, making up the journey My for Milan. <laughs> Is it old age? <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> um, making up the journey then for AC Milan. At home, they are against the Venet Svezda. They take on Dinamo as well. And from pot four, it is Dirona and Slavon, Slavan Bratislava as well. Yes, uh, one step closer to the end of the spot. Gigi, you have Oops. not drawn yet Oops. one club that you know well. Mm. <laughs> Juventus. And here we are finally. <laughs> Gigi managed to show us the name of Juventus. Uh, Juventus has been drawn already against four opponents Manchester City, Leipzig, Benfica, Bruges, and uh, Cristiano. That's your responsibility. What happens to them? Four left to draw. A home tie with PSV Eindhoven, a trip to France to face Lille, a match at home against Stuttgart, and they'll be going to Birmingham to take on Aston Villa. And I have to ask, Christian, you scored practically every time against Buffon when you guys played in the Champions League. So every match. Yeah, <laughs> 10 times. I think it was 10 times, the most any player ever scored against another team. Um, how was it when he finally joined you at, at Juve then? Okay, you're safe, but then you had him at training. No, for me, Juventus can do a, a good job because uh, 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 Juventus, like uh, PSG, like uh, Real Madrid, uh, always uh, started to, to win a, a Champions League. It's uh, always the same. Always the same. And when you played Cristiano, what about that? Did we talk about the bicycle kick or not? The bicycle kick? Scusa, Giorgio, scusa. <laughs> was that your yeah. favorite Champions League goal? He asked me sorry after the, the last match, uh, Real Madrid, uh, Juventus. Uh, I remember it. Respect, respect. Respect, yes, yes. It was a great goal. I mean, we have to, has to be said, right, let's okay. carry on, Giorgio, back to you. Yes, back to Gigi for the last, the last. one. Yes, only one ball. Oops. In this spot. Uh, Oops. Shakhtar. And, and they are the champions and cup winners of Ukraine, Shakhtar Donetsk. 
And for Shakhtar, uh, we have drawn four opponents, Bayern, Borussia Dortmund, Atalanta, Arsenal, Cristiano. Did you give them four, four more? Yeah, four more for Shakhtar Donetsk. They will be hosting young boys and uh, away in the Netherlands to take on PSV Eindhoven. And completing the lineup for them is uh, Stade Prestois and Bologna as well, Giorgio. Okay, so nine more teams have yep. been drawn and uh, more intriguing ties to look forward to, I said, as we promised, including Benfica against Atletico Madrid. We've got Atalanta taking on Arsenal as well and Bruges against uh, Juventus. Yes, pot three is full of teams with great European credentials as well, including PSV Eindhoven, Celtic, and Sporting Club de Portugal. So let's Good take a look at. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> Did okay? Yeah, thank you. I get the nod from the two Portuguese either side of me. So let's find out who these teams will have the pleasure of meeting in this season's competition. Giorgio, back to you. Yes, and uh, now we tackle the remaining 50% of the teams. Uh, you can shuffle and draw, and they have been already drawn 50% uh, of their opponents. Uh, they have to uh, find out uh, which four more teams uh, they will have to play against. Young boys. So the first one comes from the Swiss capital of Bern. It's young boys. Uh, young boys coming from uh, the uh, playoffs uh, in Istanbul, Inter, Barcelona, Atalanta and Shakhtar. And uh, Cristiano is revealing four. Yes, so the remaining fixtures for young boys then from pot three, Zervena Zvezda and a trip to Celtic Park. And from pot four, they're up against Aston Villa and Stuttgart as well. Yes, this is young boys. Let's go ahead. Oops, oops, oops. Lille. Losk uh, Lille uh, also from the playoffs. Uh, also for Lille, we have drawn four opponents uh, Real Madrid, Liverpool, Juventus, and Atletico de Madrid. And uh, here comes with the other four. Here they are, Giorgio. It's Feyenoord and Sporting from pot three. It's Sturm Graz and Bologna from pot four. Yes, uh, Gigi, you can proceed. PSV Eindhoven. PSV Eindhoven, 91 points in their league last year, 138 goals scored uh, in the season. It's impressive what they have done. For PSV, we have drawn four. Liverpool, Paris, Shakhtar, Juventus. Yeah, this is where it starts to get a bit quicker, doesn't it, as more of the opponents are known. So from pot three, they're up against Sporting Club de Portugal and they travel to Serbia to take on Cervena Svezda. And from pot four, it's Pirona and Stad Best Brestwa. Yes, this is uh, it uh, for PSV Eindhoven. We can uh, draw the next team. Feyenoord. Feyenoord, we go back to the Netherlands for Feyenoord, the winners of 1970. Five teams have been drawn by Manchester City, Leverkusen, Benfica, Lille. We go. A hat-trick of opponents to reveal. It's a Salzburg from pot three and Sparta Praha and Girona from pot four. Yes, correct. Uh, we can go ahead. Uh, we have five uh, waiting for the, uh, their remaining opponents in this pot. Dinamo Zagabria. GNK Dinamo from Zagreb, 25 times champions of Croatia. Borussia Dortmund, Bayern, Milan, and Arsenal are their drawn opponents. Thank you, Cristiano. Yes, yeah, some amazing ties for Dinamo so far, and uh, making up the journey for them then is uh, Celtic, Salzburg, Monaco, and a trip to Slovan Bratislava. Yes, that's it for uh, GNK Dinamo. Let's go ahead. For teams, for countries. Oops, oops, oops. Red Star. Cervena Zvezda, Belgrade, uh, the winners of the 1991 title. Six have been drawn already. Barcelona, Inter, Benfica, Milan, PSV and Young Boys. 
Yeah, Giorgio, so just two opponents for Servina Svezda to find out for their path in this season's UEFA Champions League. And the picture is complete. Stuttgart and Monaco, those are the final two teams. Yes, that's it for Servina Svezda. We have three more. Salzburg. FC Salzburg from Austria. Six uh, successive years uh, in the UEFA Champions League. Uh, six opponents as well. Paris, Real Madrid, Atletico, Leverkusen, GNK Dinamo, Feyenoord, and... Stade Brestois at home, and it's also Sparta Praha away. Yes. Correct. Uh, we go ahead. Uh, two names, uh, same colors for these two clubs left in the pot. Uh, Celtic. Celtic FC, uh, winners of 67, the only Scottish clubs which has won the trophy. Leipzig, Dortmund, Bruges, Atalanta, Young Boys, Dynamo for them. Yeah, and completing the journey for Celtic, then Slovan, Bratislava and Aston Villa. So not too far for them to travel for their final game in pot four. And the last one. Here we go. This is, I guess, the club that launched Cristiano on the international stage. Sporting Lisbona. Sporting Club de Portugal. Uh, you've seen uh, the six opponents. Uh, you, special. 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 <laughs> special one. <laughs> special club. Uh, special opponents. Two hands for Cristiano, two opponents for Sporting to reveal. It's Bologna and Sturm Graz for their picture to be complete. Uh, Cristiano, I wanted to ask you, uh, when you were back at Sporting, and I remember that very well as a teenager, did you ever, did that kid think that you could reach everything you've been able to accomplish in your career? Of course not. Impossible. But I always dream mm. at least to be a professional football. But to win what I won, no, impossible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But it all Very became Very the, all, the dream became a reality, Cristiano. Fantastic to have you here as well. And everyone is dreaming, aren't they, of these uh, ties? We've still got one more pot to do. The matches keep on coming. Among them, Sporting Club, the Portugal against Lille, Celtic against Young Boys, and Salzburg against Dinamo as well. I know this matrix is quite. I mean, there's a lot to take in. So, yeah, plenty to digest. But I'm sure it will start to make sense. Let's do it one more time, Reshman. Let's get to the final pot, which features Champions League clubs from Spain, Italy and Austria, among others. Some more great teams in pot four, including uh, Girona, Bologna and Sturm Graz. So let's find out who they'll be playing in this season's historic Champions League. Giorgio, one final time yes, to you. One final time, not much left to finish the job. Uh, Gigi, it's again up to you. These teams know already six out of eight opponents. Stuttgart. We start, we start with the VfB Stuttgart, uh, runners-up in the Bundesliga last year, uh, back uh, since 2013-14, uh, and uh, there are six opponents unknown. Cristiano, we can go. Yeah, six opponents known and completing the picture then for Stuttgart. From pot four, they take on Sparta Praha and Slovan Bratislava. Yes, this is the two complete lineup for uh, VfB Stuttgart. And uh, we are ready to see who we are located to uh, this club. Girona. Girona FC, first time ever in UEFA competition, uh, thanks to their performance in the La Liga last year. We are ready to reveal the remaining two opponents to Girona. We are. The final couple of rivals are Slovan Bratislava and Sturm Graz for the Spanish outfit. Yes, plus the other six and uh, we go ahead. Uh, who comes after Girona? Bologna. Bologna, back to the, uh, this competition after almost 60 years. Uh, Bologna, they, uh, they made uh, the fantastic season last year in Serie A. Six opponents known for Bologna. We go. Yeah, Bologna fans are going to have a fantastic time returning to the competition and making up the final two teams that they'll be facing, AS Monaco and Aston Villa away.
Yes, so Monaco and Aston Villa to complete the lineup for Bologna. We get ready, we go. Brest. Stad Brestois, also an outsider, uh, best result ever in uh, Ligue 1. For Stad Brestois, they have been drawn against uh, six opponents. We give them the remaining two, yes, please. And those two are Sturm Graz and Sparta Praha. The journey now complete as well for Stade Brestois. Yes, yes, journey is complete and we go ahead. Because not much is left to be revealed. Aston Villa. And this is Aston Villa, winners of 82, back after more than 40 seasons. To this stage, they know seven of their eight opponents, Cristiano can push. Yeah, Aston Villa fans back in the big time and their final opponent from pot four will be AS Monaco right here in the Principality. Yes, so we've completed Aston Villa and I think we've completed uh, practically everything. So let's see these uh, remaining names. Um, Sparta Praga. Sparta Praga has no draw needed. The Inter, Manchester City, Atletico, Leverkusen, Salzburg, Feyenoord, Brest and Stuttgart are their opponents. Slovan Bratislava. From Slovakia, Slovan Bratislava. They have also been drawn against Manchester City, Bayern, Milan, Atletico, Dinamo, Celtic, Stuttgart and Girona. Only two, because we need to show all the 36 clubs. Monaco. Ah, yes, Monaco, our hosts of today, Barcelona, Inter, Benfica, Arsenal, Servena, Svesta, Dinamo, Aston Villa and Bologna are their drone opponents. And the last one. Sturm Graz. SK Sturm Graz, the champions and cup winners of Austria, Leipzig, Dortmund, Bruges, Atalanta, Sporting, Lille, Girona and Brest are their opponents in the league phase. So we have completed, Giorgio, the historic UEFA Champions League draw for the new phase, new format. Really looking forward to this competition getting even better, even brighter, Reshman. And of course, as we look at the matches that have been thrown up, there's so much to pick from. Just having a look at pot four, we've seen Aston Villa and Bologna, Sturm Graz against uh, Girona and Slovan Bratislava versus Stuttgart, but just picking some from the many matches we really have to look forward to. It's going to be amazing this season. It is going to be incredible because we do know who each of the 36 teams will be playing in this year's competition. Take a moment to digest the information and really look forward to the journey ahead because it's going to be fantastic.